Top 10 Places to Visit in New Zealand Have you ever wondered why every referee from almost every sport around the world uses a whistle to stop or start a game? It's because of New Zealand. Do you wonder why we have disposable syringes? It's because of New Zealand. And if you wonder where high-speed amphibious vehicles and Taika Waititi came about, not to sound redundant, but it's because of New Zealand. We owe a lot to this great nation for all their amazing discoveries and fascinating personalities that they gave us over the years. But New Zealand also has some of the greatest locations to visit in the whole of Europe. Places you don't believe are a part of this planet. So, as your trusted travel guide, in this video I'm going to be telling you 10 of the best places to visit in New Zealand. We'll be going to pristine locations and historic sites, and we'll desperately try to pronounce some of the weirdest names you have ever heard. Let's get started. Number 10. Pakarewarewa Geothermal Valley Yes, you heard that right. I told you they would be hard to pronounce names. Pakarewarewa is the pride of the Maori people. It is a nuanced location that features a lot of Maori cultures, which is the major ethnicity of the New Zealand people who are commonly known as Kiwis. The valley has a host of geothermal factors, such as active geysers. It is actually home to the largest geyser in the southern hemisphere known as Puhutu. It wouldn't be fair if I didn't mention Tapuya, the New Zealand Arts and Craft Institute, a place where you can experience the fullness of Maori culture. You can even get a steam box meal. That's a meal prepared using geothermal steam. I haven't tried it, but I heard it can be delightful. So pay a visit to Whakarewarewa and engage in the fullness of the culture. And if you think the name is too hard to pronounce, I should probably inform you that one of New Zealand's towns has the longest town name in the world. It's called and yes, that's the actual name, not a typo. And no, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Number 9. Queenstown When you're in Queenstown, adventure is not far behind. I say this because Queenstown is just blooming with so many things to do. It's the kind of place where the fun doesn't stop, no matter what season you visit. Queenstown is this small town that sits at the shore of Lake Wakatipu. It is surrounded by huge mountains and captivating alpine ranges. It has such a regal and majestic appearance that it couldn't be named anything short of royalty. Queenstown is also crowded with tourists because of all the fun they can have there. You can go bungee jumping, skydiving, white water rafting, heli biking, and mountain biking downhill. And in the winter, you can go skiing. If adventure sports are not your thing and you're just looking to relax and explore, don't worry. Queensland's got you covered. You can visit historic places like Arrowtown and Glenorchy. A lot of the scenes of Middle-earth from Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit were actually shot in Queenstown. So you'll actually find Middle-earth locations in Queenstown. Fun fact, you can actually pay for stuff with Hobbit money in New Zealand. Yeah, Hobbits are a legal tender thanks to the fame the country gained via the Lord of the Rings franchise. It's also home to Hobbiton, where you can visit the actual Shire. Number 8. Christchurch Initially known as Utautai in the Maori language and found in the Canterbury region, Christchurch is the biggest city on South Island and the oldest city in New Zealand. It's a city that has a somewhat tragic history due to the earthquakes it saw between 2010 and 2011. But the Kiwis are not people who tend to stay down for long. Since then, they've picked up the pieces and gradually turned Christchurch into a safe haven for tourists around the world. That's why Christchurch is usually referred to as the city that came back to life. There are great shopping malls and vibrant new buildings and other fascinating new constructions. But Christchurch is mainly known for its sheen botanical gardens. Christchurch has some of the biggest trees you'll ever see, and its horticultural sites are a marvel. A ride on the Christchurch gondola is heavily recommended. You get to see all these great places and bathe in the surreal vibe. Number 7. Fjordland National Park Welcome to Te Huai Punamu. And no, that is not the weirdest name we have on this list. Fjordland is a UNESCO heritage site. It covers roughly 1.2 million hectares of great locations. There are freshwater lakes, alpine ranges, rainforests, fjords, and sounds, as well as beautiful waterfalls. The place has a somewhat mystical feel. You can explore places like Dusky Sounds, Doubtful Sound, and of course the all-too-famous Milford Sound. But more on that in a second. For now, just consider the amazing landscape of Fjordland. Do a little kayaking, go camping in the alpine forests, or you can even go for a plane ride. 
That way, you get to see the striking beauty from above. Number 6. Coromandel Peninsula Another impressive natural site to visit in North New Zealand is Coromandel Peninsula. Widely known for its golden sand beaches and thick forests, the Coromandel Peninsula is a home away from all the noise of city life. This place has everything – amazing waterfalls, cliffside views, and beautiful fjords and canyons. The options of things to do are endless. You can go hiking, you can try descending the Sleeping God Canyon with amazing water slides and deep pools. One thing that is frequently recommended is a road trip from the Thames to Coromandel Town. Fair warning, the roads are pretty steep and it may seem like you're going to fall off. So if you don't have the stomach for that kind of feeling, then I wouldn't recommend it. But if you manage to quell your fears and dare to look at the scenic locations, the view is absolutely breathtaking. Number 5. Milford Sound if you want to get in touch with the natural locations of New Zealand, then you absolutely cannot miss Milford Sound. Some people argue that Milford Sound is the eighth wonder of the world, and I can understand why. Milford Sound is widely known for its iconic mountains, the most notable being Mitra Peak, which stands at a whopping 1,683 meters. The best part about Milford is that it's not one of those locations that are heavily packed with tourists. It's a lot more remote, but it still has so much to offer. You can go mountain climbing or bungee jumping. If that's not your speed, you can try watching the landscapes via a boat ride. It's considered as the best way to enjoy the natural aesthetic. You can also visit the Milford Discovery Center and Underwater Observatory, which takes you down to 30 feet deep into the chilling waters for your viewing pleasure. Number 4. Oakland this is the largest city in New Zealand, and it's the center for international travel as most planes take off and go in from here. So you're bound to encounter Oakland one way or the other if you're visiting from around the world. So if you've had a long flight and you need fun things to do as you recover your strength, Oakland can help you out. You can visit the largest art institution in the country, the Oakland Art Gallery. You can check out Oakland's Domain Park or the panel's Farmer's Market. Or maybe you just want a good old tour of the city. There's plenty to choose from. The highlights of Oakland are its two harbors, the Waitemata and Hanukau harbors, which sparkle under the skylight. The best part about Oakland is that it's a connecting route to the most prestigious places in New Zealand, so you'll be able to find it almost everywhere from there. Number 3. Waitomo Glow Worm Cave This is my favorite place in New Zealand. There's just something about glow-in-the-dark caves that appeals to me. I mean, I just have a need for unique locations and the Waitomo Cave supplies that I need. The Waitomo Cave is found in Waitomo Village, which is a few miles away from Oakland. Once you're in the village, you can take a boat ride that goes through the cave. There, you'll notice something hauntingly beautiful. The entire cave is illuminated by glowworms. Lots and lots of glowworms. Glowworms are tiny insects that emit light from their tails by an organ that works similarly to a kidney. They're harmless to humans and they number in the thousands as they illuminate the cave walls, creating an almost star-like experience as you sail through. I guarantee a trip to the glowworm cave will be worth it. Number 2. Tongariru National Park We arrived at what is most likely the highest-rated tourist attraction in all of New Zealand. It's the country's first national park and it's a location that's full of surprises. For one thing, it has a diversity of ecosystems. It's a cluster of natural sites that shouldn't be possible but is. There are desert plateaus and at the same time green grasslands, glaciers, geothermal locations and deep lakes. Confusing, right? But that's the kind of thing you find in Tongariro. There's also the Taranaki Falls for good measure. It's definitely a traveler's fiesta. There's so much to see and explore. Rotorua. I thought I'd end with the place most people consider to be the most dramatic city in all of New Zealand, Rotorua, also known as the geothermal wonderland of New Zealand. It is the quintessential city that properly depicts the ethereal feel, culture, and riveting topography that New Zealand has to offer. It's located in the Pacific Ring of Fire on the North Island, and Rotorua has numerous locations that are definitely worth seeing. There are multiple hot springs and geysers, the most notable being the Lady Knox Geyser and Champagne Pool. And their alluring appearance, we also can't forget all the natural steam eruptions and volcanic craters scattered around the city. It's not called a geothermal wonderland for nothing. So what do you do in a place like Rotorua? 
all sorts of things. You can go hiking, a little bit of zip lining, kayaking, and you can visit one of those grand locations that I listed earlier. It's best to visit Rotorua sometime around November to April. That way, you get to enjoy the heat. This brings us to the end of the video. Be sure to hit the like button and let us know in the comments below what you thought about these locations. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification so you never miss out when we put a new video. As always, thanks for watching.